What's up, whiskey lovers? Um, day 10. This is a little bit. Are you right there? Yeah. All oh, right. Day 10. That was my dog just scratching and stuff. And now shaking. All right. So, interesting. So, this one is an independent bottler that I've never had before. This is the Boutique Whiskey Company, and it's the Arbolur six-year-old, batch eight. Now, ooh, looking at this one, this is probably the highest percentage out of the pack. It's a 49.9. Most of them are, I think I think the highest was about a 43. What the? What the? Oh, wow. It looks like new make. It is. You're not going to be able to see this. That is so clear. It's like new make. Whoa. Okay. I think the last two, I can't remember, have been like white wine kind of flavors or smells. This thing brings off a bit of vinegarishy white wine. I can't believe how white that is. I don't get it. It's six... Okay, anyways, I don't think I've seen that many things there. So, it's a six-year-old um, Arbolur. I've never had an Arbolur before, and I'm going to I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, what I do know is that that distillery was um, founded back around 1826, um, and has long been producing the whiskies and the spice side. Spice side? Yeah, it is a spice side. No, it's not Highland. Yeah. So, um, this, as I said, the Boutique is an independent... Um, whiskey company who or independent bottler um so they work with a lot of different distilleries from bladnock to mccallum to pretty much everything that's over there um and they have some of the best label labels you, that you will actually see so go to their website have a look at what they've got because yeah the labels are pretty cool now vintage sellers in australia seems to be the only people that i've seen sell the boutique a boutique i'm uh, sorry and nicks so out of your Big franchise stuff. It's vintage sellers. I know Wix wine, a Nick's wine merchant has them on their website, and I'm sure there's other retailers out there. But I am now very intrigued. Trying to, it's not the most pleasant smell. It's, it really is like a white wine vinegar. It kind of tastes wine. It's it. Okay, so if Alinta hadn't have played the prank on me before, I wouldn't even be thinking this. But the seal was broke. The seal wasn't broken, so she couldn't have filled this up with white wine. This is not enjoyable at all. It's. I don't know what it is. Is it, is it because it's only a six-year-old? But that doesn't mean much. It's just not. There's nothing there. It's a very, again, yeah, I'm gonna say it, it's a very smooth whiskey. It's supposed to have, I think when I went to have a look at how much this was, I couldn't find the price on it because I don't think they sell it anymore. Um, they were saying like it's apple and cinnamon and all this kind of stuff. No, it's white wine and vinegar. That's all it is. So I was truly looking forward to this one when I saw it on the back of it because as I said, never had one before, but I would not be buying that at all um, if that came on. Now, that's really sad because I started looking for a Bladnock and they've got one. It is a 26-year-old, so maybe it might be a little bit different and it needs Bladnock. Um, and again, it's not the boutique company doing this, I guess, but they have bought that whiskey and then they've independently bottled it. So this is their kind of flagship from it. That is a hard pass for me. Sorry for anyone that loves that because I know the Uplaws 12, the Sherry, I think it is, cask, um, is one of the ones that a lot of you guys use for boiler makers. So um, maybe I need to try that. Maybe I need to get a sample of that one. Anyways, two more days to go. And then we got some new projects coming up. All right, guys, make sure you make a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything that I'm doing wrong or you want me to try or any comments about anything at all. Um, I love that you guys are actually interacting with me. I love that you point out my faults because as I said, I'm no, no pro when it comes to whiskey. Um, I enjoy what I enjoy and I hate what I hate. Sample of this one. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye. Not having that.